Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we will discuss one important Java interview question. Can we overload or override main method in Java? This is a very basic and fundamental question. You may get this question during your Java Selenium test automation interview. I will explain everything in detail. Please watch the complete video without skipping it. Before we start, if you are very new to our channel and watching my video for first time, then I have a long list of interview questions and tutorial videos for you. I will give the playlist link in the video description. Please go through that. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any further notification. Okay, so let's start. First, we will understand if we can overload main method in Java. Then we will see about override. So, before we answer if we can overload main method or not, first let us understand what is method overloading. Maybe you would have been knowing what is method overloading, method overriding. Still, I will explain you what is method overloading. Then we will answer the main question. Developing same method name with different signature is known as method overloading. The signature can be different in these three cases like type of argument, number of arguments, position of the arguments. So, if I will show you one example, right. So, here you can see one method as sum method. So, what is the arguments in the first sum method? Integer a, then integer b. Similarly, in the second method if you will see double a, double b. So, what happens in the first and second method? The type of argument is different because in the first one type was integer in the second one type is double. Similarly, if you we'll come to the third method, then we have a method name as sum, but argument is int a, int b and int c. So, here you can see the total number of arguments increased. So, in the first and second method, we have only two arguments, but in the third method, we have three different arguments. Similarly, if you we'll see the fourth and fifth method sum int a double b and sum double a int b. So, here the position of the arguments are different. So, that is what we are telling here right. We have the same method name, but different signature or different arguments. So, coming to the definition developing same method name with different signature. It means we have the same method name sum, but different signature and how that signature is different like the type of arguments because here the type was integer, here the type is double, then number of arguments, here there are two arguments, here there are three arguments, then position of the arguments, position means integer a, then double b, first integer was there, then double was there, but here if you will see first double, then integer. So, this is how method overloading works or if you get this question what is method overloading, you can answer in this way, developing same method name with different signature is known as method overloading, but again the signature can be different in like type of arguments, number of arguments and position of the arguments. You can give this example also. So, let me show you through Java code. Let us go to our Eclipse and let me show you, right. So, I have this package. Let me create a new class, okay. So, I will give us method overloading example. Okay. Fine. So, what we will do? Similarly, how we have seen here, right? We will develop few methods. Okay. So, I will write void sum method. Okay. Then, what we are doing here? The arguments. What we will pass? Integer a comma integer b. Okay. Then maybe here what you can do integer sum equal to a plus b. Okay. So, something. So, anything you can write, right. So, this is one method. Similarly, if I want to write another method, what I can do? Int a, int b and int c. Okay. 
and maybe here I can write plus C, right? So this is what we have seen there, right? Again, sum here I will write double A double B. Maybe I don't need this, right? Here I will write double sum equal to A plus B. So we can have the same method but different signature okay the number of arguments are different similarly what we have written here int a double b double a int b that also we can do let me copy this int a double b and here what we will write double a int b okay this is also possible so this is what is your method overloading concept same method name but different signature okay now we will go to our original question right so what was that question can we overload main method in java so we will see like this sum is one method right like this main is also one method so can we have main method but different signature so if we'll just like write like this let's see what happens right so public static void main here you are giving string so instead of string i'll give integer see this is possible means you are able to overload this method right you can write similar method same name but different signature it means method overloading is possible okay but you need to understand one thing here whenever you will execute this class right then this method will be called by jvm by automatically because jvm will look for only this method public static void man string arguments this will not get executed so let's see for example let me do some sys out here and here i'll write inside string main method okay for this I, I just wrote string maybe similarly here i will write inside int okay and let's execute let's see which one is getting executed by default see this got executed right so maybe you will have one more question then how you will execute this method if we want to execute it is simple how you execute any other method right so what you can do you can call this method inside this main method because this is the method which jvm is looking for so how you can do that you can write main okay then what you can write new integer then what are those values for example 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so this method is getting called right now let's execute this see we are inside string main method and then inside integer main method so this method is coming to here so we are able to call this method also but though you will able to overload main method but by default this method will be called this is the default method right public static void man string arguments okay so if the question is coming if you can overload the main method or not yes you can overload the main method but by default jvm will look for this method okay so i hope you are able to understand the concept let me go to the our ppt now we will see the next question can we override main method in java or not okay so the very simple answer here is no you cannot override main method in java but then why why we will not able to override main method in java because you cannot override static methods and your public static void main is a static method that's why we cannot override it i'm just repeating it again you cannot override a static method that's why you are not able to override main method and main method is a static method then maybe you will have a again one more question why we cannot override 
static method we will understand that why we cannot override a static method so before we understand why we cannot override static method in java first let's understand what is method overriding inheriting a method from superclass to subclass and changing the implementation according to subclass requirement is known as method overriding so we'll see with one example then you will be able to understand what i mean to say here so we will inherit one subclass from a superclass and then we will change the implementation of one method which is inherited from the superclass to subclass okay so let's go to our eclipse and see through a example then you will be able to understand it very clearly so first what i will do i'll create a new class okay and i will name it as animal okay so inside the animal class what i'll do i'll create one method for example public void move method and here i'll do a print statement and here i'll write animal can animal can move okay then what i will do i'll create another class new class i'll name it as dog and then i will extend this class extends which class animal because we want to inherit we want to inherit this animal class and i will have this same method also here okay but we will change the implementation because this is dog class dog is a child class child will extend the parent class again the move method is coming from there also here also but he is changing the implementation logic so i'll write here dog can move and run okay or dog can run and jump okay so i change the implementation then what we'll do we'll create one test class okay and here what we will do we will write means we will create some object okay animal a is equal to new animal okay so here we created one object and referring to this animal class similarly we will create another object animal b is equal to new here we will give the object of dog class okay then finally what we'll do we'll do a dot move okay and b dot move okay and let's execute now so you see this one printed the method from the animal class like animal can move and this one printed the method from dog class why it happened so if you will see here right the object and reference is both for the animal class but if you will see here the reference we are creating for the animal but object we are creating for the dog class that's why even though b is the object of type animal it runs the move method in the dog class okay so the reason for this is in compile time the check is made on the reference type however in the run time jvm figures out the object type and would run the method that belongs to that particular object so that's what we saw here and that's what override means now we will see why we cannot override static methods so one thing is when a parent class and child class contains the same method including the parameters and all and if they are static the method in the parent class will be hidden by the one that is in the child class so that is the mechanism of method hiding so if you will see here we have same method like public void move in the parent class and also we have the method public void move in the child class but these methods are not static okay so what we will do we will make it static okay 
public static void move and we will make this also static. Okay. So, both the methods are static now. Now, we will also create one non static method. Okay. So, let me just copy paste and here I will write I will not make it static and the method I will make it as sound method. Okay. Animal can sound can make sound. Okay. Let us create this same method in the child class also and here we will make dog can bark. Okay. So, now we have two methods same methods in the parent class same method in the child class, but one is static one is non static. Now, we will see how data hiding is happening. right? So, here we have uh, previously we have created these objects right. So, what I will do I will just comment out this one okay, animal a equal to new animal. Now, I have only one animal b equal to new dog. So, we are referencing to the dog object okay, animal reference and dog object. Then we have only one object. So, what I will do I will just write b dot move and b dot sound I will call these two methods. So, what is your understanding here which things it should call means what it will print it will print in the first one it will print for the move method right will it print this one or will it print this one and in the second for, for the sound it will print this or it will print this. So, that is what we need to see let us execute and see right they run as Java application. So, here you can see animal can move dog can bark. So, this move method pointed to this animal class whereas, the sound method pointed to the dog class. As per the overriding rule this should call the child class overridden method, but that method is static that is why it did not call the child class overridden method it called the parent class overridden method that is this one and this one is static, but in this case what happened it called the child class one this this one right because this is not static. So, that is why we are telling right we cannot override static method. Now, I hope you understand why we cannot override the static method because of this right you saw the example in move it is getting the value from the parent class, but in the sound it is getting the value from child class. So, now we understood we cannot override static method and this public static void main. So, this main method here you can static right. So, main method is also a static method that is why we cannot override a static method. So, let us go to the final conclusion and we will see the answer can we overload or override main method in Java. Yes, we can overload the main method in Java, but when we execute the class JVM starts execution with public static void main string arguments method. This is very very important to remember. Other thing is no we cannot override static methods since the public static void main method is static and we cannot override it. Also we saw why we cannot override static method. That is all for today. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.